This tutorial is going to cover credit and financial statement analysis and specifically what to look for in a financial statement. We have several learning objectives. First, we're going to have a brief review of the important components of a financial review. So just a brief review, components of a financial statement are the balance sheet, the profit and loss statement, cash flow statement. Then you want to understand key ratios that'll give you a, a really good view into the company's performance and the trends of the company's performance. You look at all this in the context of benchmarking with similar companies in their industry and it puts it all into a context that makes it very effective in understanding financial results. So why even do we review financial statements? Well, it gives you an insight into past trends, the strengths and weaknesses of the company and their past performance. You can use these trends to really project in the future the likelihood that a company is going to be able to meet its obligations. There are certain things that you should consider in the real world context here. The financials are a historical document. They don't necessarily predict future performance. They just kind of indicate the direction that the company is going. But there's a lot of things that are not reported in the financials that um, may have happened since the financials were produced such as recent changes in management could really affect the viability of the company, the direction uh, and the, uh, the revenues. They could have lost several major customers that have affected their revenue and their profitability. The competitive environment could have changed. Another company could have come into the market with a superior product, really taken away a lot of market share and revenue potential for the company in the future. You're not going to see that on the financial statement. There could have been a natural or man-made disaster uh, that's affecting their revenues. Just think about the COVID-19 virus. 